Well, <laughs> what else is there to talk about? The Grand Theft Auto 6 leak. How did it happen? What was in it? What is Rockstar's response? Here's everything you need to know about the biggest leak the gaming industry has ever seen. Now, before we get into this, I just want to be expressly clear. Nothing you are about to see is from the new GTA game, okay? Rockstar's legal team, if you're listening, and I've heard they're big fans of this show. We're not showing any screenshots, any gameplay, nothing, nada, zip, zilch, got it? Okay, good. Here we go. So, how did the leak happen? On Sunday, September 20th, a user that goes by the name of Teapot Tuba Hacker posted on GTAforums.com over 90 clips of in-development footage of the game. They claimed that the clips were taken from Rockstar's internal Slack, which also allowed them to get their hands on source code for the game. The hacker updated their post later that day, directing any employees of Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive to contact them via email, as they were, quote, looking to negotiate a deal. There has been no update as of this recording Recording from the hacker. So what was released? Well, a metric ton. The footage in the 90 plus clips totaled a near hour of incomplete GTA 6 gameplay. The validity of the footage before Rockstar could confirm the leak came in the form of two key details that lined up with Bloomberg's report earlier this year about the game. One, all the gameplay took place in Vice City, Grand Theft Auto's Miami parody, and the location of the game according to Bloomberg's report. That report also included the detail that the player would take control of two characters, a man and a woman, whom are meant to be a Bonnie and Clyde-like pairing. The gameplay seen in the league featured both a playable man and woman. Pop-up text during the footage refers to the man as Jason and the woman as Lucia. Jesus Christ, that's Jason. The footage showed off the character's abilities to crouch, go prone, and move while doing both. Going prone is something that can't be done in GTA 5, and the only way to crouch in that game is by taking cover behind a low-profile object. Both of these elements hint that playing stealthily might be a viable course of action in the game, particularly as the footage also reveals reveals a mechanic to pick up bodies that you could then presumably hide. Lucia is seen carrying a duffel bag with a number of inventory slots, as well as there being animations for picking up weapons, which are displayed as being strapped to the characters' bodies when not carried in their hands. These elements hint toward GTA 6 getting a similar inventory system to Red Dead Redemption 2, where players will be limited by what they can carry and will have to pick and choose which weapons to take with them. Also similar to RDR 2 are the contextual menus while targeting NPCs. In that game, locking onto an NPC offered several options, such as greeting them or robbing them. In the leaked GTA 6 footage, options to rob, restrain, melee, and surrender are shown. Speaking of NPCs, one of the clips features a conversation between two of them, commenting on events from GTA 5, so that almost guarantees this game takes place either during or after the current release. Hovercrafts are shown off, vehicles that haven't been present in the series since GTA San Andreas, and according to Video Game Insider Tom Henderson from a now deleted tweet, thousands of lines of the source code make mention of jetpacks. And finally, the game seems to feature a parody of the popular WhatsApp messaging service that the game will call What Up. Considering how many of GTA 5's menus were handled via an in-game smartphone and how far that tech has come since that game's release, it's not hard to imagine that GTA 6's smartphone will be even more robust and tightly integrated. Okay, so what does Rockstar have to say about all this? The developer confirmed the leak was the result of a, quote, network intrusion. It also made the reassuring comment that it does not anticipate any disruption to the development of the game a major concern many had when the leak happened over the weekend. Rockstar capped the message off by stating that it would show off the game when it is ready to be shown off. And that's it. Everything you need to know about the GTA 6 leak. What do you think of some of the mechanics we mentioned today? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you here tomorrow for more GameSpot news.